Greetings and welcome back to Factory Town. I'm Catherine of Sky, and oh my goodness, this game has changed since I played it last. So many awesome things. I can't wait to tell you about them. So this game has been in kind of a limited alpha for a long time, and it's now coming to Steam Early Access today. Um, so we're going to check out all the new features that we can see and... Um, and yeah, just, just start playing a game and, and get to it. So we can start a new game. And first of all, we have all kinds of things. We can have a default scenario, advanced, which starts with a harder biome or creative mode where you can just have fun building things and just kind of uh, set up complex um, circuit controlled conditions kind of thing um, or logic controlled things. Um, but we're gonna go with the default map um, so we could do planes and rivers. There are millions of maps. Oh, let's let's zoom out. This is actually more handy to do this. Uh, can't move the window, but that's okay. Our, uh, we have all kinds of things. Volcanic islands, flat, empty craters, desert cliffs, foothill canyons, grand canyons, high foothills, high ridges, islands, lake land, swamp forest. Swamp forest actually looks kind of interesting to me. Um... I think the one we did last time would be something like Plains and Rivers. But let's go ahead and go with the Swamp Forest. It's kind of similar, but it's it could be just a little bit different. I, I tried a test game uh, before I started recording, and I tried the, um, like the Foothill Canyons, and oh my gosh, it is very, very steep. So anyway, we're going to try the Swamp Forest, and hopefully we can find a relatively flat building area. Um, and we can also look at uh, available biomes here, map size, small, medium, large, or infinite. Now I'm gonna go with large because there is a new uh, thing in the game where you can actually purchase more land squares um, to, to, you know, to expand more. So I wanna do that mechanic instead of getting the infinite map. Okay, so creative mode, we'll have it off, auto place base off, because we wanna choose our starting location. Smooth starting area. I don't know if we can, can we do that? Does it smooth everything? Maybe. Um, oh, did we? Ah, yes, we can also edit the map. That's what I was looking for. Start state. You can start wherever you want. This is fantastic. Farming age, machine age, and magic age. In case there are parts of the game that you want to skip, like maybe you don't like the farming age and you just want to start with machine age, you can skip right to that section there. Uh, let's go ahead and edit the map. I wanted to show you some of these really interesting um, map tools that are available. So we can go with, uh, there's all kinds of things. We can have uh, stack and noise and comparators, all kinds of things that I have no idea what they are, but you can adjust them to your heart's content. You can do all kinds of fun stuff and make things. Um, it's like, it has like this bitmap thing that is, um, you know, obviously getting bigger and smaller and spreading things out. Vertical scale as well. You can have mountainy looking things and um, otherwise swampy looking things, which is kind of what we were looking for, actually. I'm gonna add a little bit of this back. Um, knee angles, wow. Again, all kinds of different ways that you can um, change things. This one is a little bit funky too. Yeah, but all, all many, many, many options. I don't know what they mean. They look cool though. Uh, so, <laughs> Whoa, world offset. Well then, this is most interesting. Uh, we want to have a little bit of stuff. I think there, maybe? I don't remember what what the um, thing was. We do want water. That's one of the things that we do want to have. Oh, uh, let's just say none there. Go away. Uh, but yeah, many things. There are all kinds of things here. Planes noise. All of these have their own options that you can look at and uh, and do stuff with. Um, you start out with this um, map and it looks very empty, but it will be filled with resources as soon as we click the create button. And let's just do that right now. So this is what we have. This is our starting map. 
Uh, looks kind of nice already. I'm liking this. Now, the reason I chose a fairly flat map is because I really would like to build a significant kind of a colony, town, whatever you want to call it, um, and not be hindered by too many mountains initially. But if we look outside, we can buy these other pieces of land. It's at 1k uh, gold coins for this one. Again, 1,000 here, 1,000 there. Lots of water on this one. Uh, but yeah, I, I assume you can only buy ones that you are sort of connected to on the side. So this one probably would become available if we bought that one or that one. Um, and yeah, you can go into all kinds of different shapes as well when you uh, when you buy these things. So this is this is really expanding the game further than we had it before. So uh, we have the tutorial on the left side here, and we have chosen to place a base where we want it instead of just accepting random base placement or whatever. And it tells us we need to find trees, stone, and grain. So stone is the light colored rocks over over here and this is coal uh, so we need some stone we need some trees we need some grain now it's also helpful to have things like tomatoes or um, I think we have if we can find apples that would be ideal because apples can also be sold to the um, the peeps living around there uh, in the houses and they will they will help you get some um, money lots and lots of money aha aha apple trees hello they have 127 resources each that's very very excellent do we need other things there's also apples there um i'm thinking this might be a really nice sort of beginning area right here so i think we'll go ahead and do that uh and get that sorted so we'll press b and place our base building that's the first building you need to put out now the base building um is going to be a central collection point for stuff so i kind of want to put it nearby the trees um and have sort of automated lumber coming in here so let's just put it down here and we're given four workers to start off with this is pretty cool they're waiting for our instructions are like hello Hello, we have stuff to do. Oh my God, they have outfits now. Oh my God, they look so cute. They have hair and eyes and they have an outfit. Wow. Before they looked very much like um, sort of very plain chess pieces, like just little or like, you know, little people, Fisher Price type, tiny, you know, pawns. Uh, the base looks amazing now. Used to be very, very, very basic graphics, but I am so impressed with the just what has happened with the game it looks really good now it's awesome but even when i played it before which was probably over a year ago the game mechanics were awesome and i really enjoyed playing the game um so that's why i've come back to to look at it again because back then the graphics were not ideal but the gameplay was so much fun and i really really enjoyed it so anyway we're gonna see what hap what's uh, going on I, th I believe the game has also gotten more complicated so uh, we're going to just kind of explore and see what we can figure out. I'm already seeing many different things. There's tomatoes and berries and um, those other things. We, we saw herbs before. Those were in the game. But um, yeah, pear trees. Look at this. Pear trees. Wow. I think that's new. Air stones. We didn't ever get to the magic portion, I don't think. But I really do want to get to those things. Anyway, let's follow the tutorial and see where it tells us. We need to gather wood. So we're going to go get our, our workers. And um, do we have access to the... Oh, we can't get conveyor belts until we actually... Or not conveyor belts, but the chutes until we get stuff. So let's go ahead and get all of our guys collecting wood. Um, we might want to get somebody collecting stone. Here, you collect stone, please. Um, when you're selecting them, you just click on them with left click and then right click on the target and then drag to where you want the target to go. So we want it to go to the base, basically to uh, store all this stuff. Okay, let me not get my map. Um, you can yeah, I'm, I'm, you can freely move the camera in the game. I tend to like to keep the camera in one position, <laughs> otherwise I'll get lost on my own map. So anyway, we have collected the stuff. It's asking for 15 wood. Um, so we're going to say yes, go, go, go. 
All right, houses increase your population limit, allowing you to create more workers and buildings. So we open the build menu with B, select buildings, houses, and left click to place. So here is our um, worker capacity. And this we have a house built capacity, and this is determined by the base level. I'm not quite sure what that means. Oh, base level one. Okay, so presumably we'll figure out a way to upgrade this. Ah, and here it is. We need four happiness, 20 stone, 10 planks and 20 yellow coins. So um, I want to build houses. Um, and we're gonna put these, we're gonna use R to rotate there. Oh, look at this, this is great. We have options now, we have stuff, controls. You can reassign all of this stuff as you like. There was one tip to use, oh gosh, where was it? Ah yes, copy object at cursor. It was on C, I have changed it to Q because I love using Q as the eyedropper tool in other games, but you can change everything you want. I love this. Um, and also audio video settings and the interface as well tells you all the stuff here that you can turn on and off. And um, yeah, all the things. UI scaling we have, targeting methods, um, and tutorial messages if you don't want those. I forgot to go through the launch tips, which are actually quite good. I read them before, but I didn't uh, show them on the video yet, but they are uh, at startup and they're really, really useful. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with a house. We can also get here through the build menu, which is B. Um, so we're, we can build a house here. We're also looking at footpaths in a, in a second. Tools will give us terrain blocks up and down and flattening options and yeah, removing resources. I thought that was a nuclear bomb, but it's actually a tree, I think. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> dear me. Anyway, um, this is good, but it costs money. We only have 50 money to start off with. I, I did the test game in this very, like, kind of weird up and down place. And I was like, oh my God. And I spent my 50 coins immediately. Uh, which was not ideal. Anyway, we want to have, let's, let's actually plan with the footpaths. I want to have a, quite a wide road, like three wide here. And that's going to be our road. Because last time I played, I did not kind of leave room for things like roads and stuff. Um, and I want to have better planning this time. So let's go ahead and choose to have a road here as well. Um, just make it three wide and that's probably going to be the stone person. Well, well, let's see how wide these houses are. How big are these houses? Let's just put these down. This is costing us wood every time we place one, but, and it may look really wide, but it'll be okay. I promise. Okay. Um, yeah, let's put a house here and one here. Can I remove this road? I think I can. There we go. I think I right click it. There we go. We right click the road to remove it and then we'll place one here instead. That'll be better. And then I want to make more houses. Go with four there. Can I put this here, please? There we go. Nice. And then we'll rotate this guy. Can't afford. Okay. So the, the cost is on the left here. We need 15 wood to make a house. Uh, but in the meantime, we can uh, build workers. So workers is also in the build menu under workers. These are the different types of workers we're going to be able to have eventually. Wagons, mine carts, harvester drills, and fishing boats. And these can carry items around. Uh, some of them, like the harvester drill, will mine resources for you and then take the resources where you need them. Um, but otherwise, workers do a lot of the gathering and like wagons can just take stuff from building to building. So, okay, let's build another house here. And I do want to build one more on the other side. Just as soon as we get the resources. Come on, guys. Keep, keep chopping. Keep chopping. There we go. Boom. So we have houses. Hello. Now, one thing that I've noticed is um, these houses, they want stuff, right? They consume food. So they will, um, they will pay for any of these things, grains, meats, fruits and veg or dairy. So what do we want to do is get these people supplied with food because that increases their happiness. So let's go ahead and get some workers put down. They cost how much each 10, 10 each one, two, three, four, and five. That's all we can afford. 
but we're going to get them to take food to the houses. Each person will have a house to take food to. I know this seems a little bit silly, but we're going to get a market later. It'll be fine. It'll be, I promise, it'll be fine. Okay, now the last worker, we're going to take this guy and take apples. Um, because they also demand apples. And they, there it is, fruits and vegetables. And they pay more for apples, actually. So if we watch them, they're getting one coin for grains being brought. Here's the guy with the apples. Two coins for apples. Yay. So it might even be more advantageous to take apples. I don't, one thing I don't know yet is do these apple trees sort of die off? Do we need to have an orchard to keep the apples flowing? Or how does that work exactly? Um, but anyway, we're going to keep on going with the tutorial here. Build a lumber mill. Yes. First of all, we want to build a chute, probably. Can we build this? Oh, it's not unlocked yet. Oh, dear me. All right. Lumber mills turn wood into planks, which you will need for many buildings and upgrades. Gather five stone, which we've already have 40 stone because I, I set this person up early. Um, open the build menu, select buildings and lumber mill. I happen to know it's this one. So what we can do, there's two things that we can do. And I think it would be useful to say, let's see, can we just one, two, three? Yes. Uh, I can't tell if that's a road or not. Is this a road? Or is this a building? I want to find a way to place this building so that we can output it to this place. Let's just go safely and go here. New unlocks available. All right, we got benches. Benches. Okay, that's cute. Nice. I don't know if they, they function, but that sounds cool. Got chutes. We got scaffold ramps and all the things. So... Okay, first of all, we got to tell this building what to make. Uh, all right, there we go. So we're going to select the recipe here, and we're going to say planks. Now, it's interesting because now in this version of the game, you can actually select multiple products by clicking shift on ones that you can select. This one is obviously locked, but that is an available thing that you can do and have one building producing multiple recipes. I think that's awesome. Um, okay, so we're going to have at least one of these lumber guys taking the wood to here. And then I wonder if we can have the planks go on a chute. Does that work? No. Let's see, can we rotate? Oh, we need planks to build this thing, sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right, and one person, we need another person here. Uh, a new person. You go ahead, oops, okay. Hello, you go and take the planks. Now make sure you select the right thing. So this is the input, what's coming in here is the wood. That's the raw logs from the trees. Uh, and this is the planks. So we have this worker selected. We're gonna right click on the planks and take them there. So they're gonna take everything to our central supply. Now things have to be um, actually taken to the base before they can be used. Now there are storage boxes I, that you can use from as well, I, as, at least there were. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Okay, let's go ahead and put some shoots here. And what we wanna do is get the guys delivering. Let's pause the game, okay, hold on. Hello. I think it's these two guys. Okay, these guys, and it's interesting, you can actually look at the building and see who is going to this building. You can see these guys are going to this building and you know this worker is taking stone. We need to focus on the lumber guys because we're just gonna automate this lumber just a little bit. So, hello guy. Instead of taking the tree to there, we're gonna take it to the beginning of this chute. So what he's gonna do is chop the tree and then take it there and it's going to roll into the base. So this is much more efficient and it's a lot faster. Um, let's see, is it you? Aha, you. Do the same thing, please. Take it there. Nice. Okay, so now we have a lot more automation for this whole process. We are getting more planks. This is great. So that means we can make more shoots. These guys are still generating some money, which is awesome. Uh, all right, let's go to the next instruction we need to upgrade one of these houses so i think we'll upgrade this house here the one that is getting all of the apples <laughs> nice um houses can be upgraded to increase the population limit so we have a limit of 12 right now 
Upgraded houses will also consume goods faster, helping you earn more coins. Select a house and hit the upgrade button when you have enough resources. All right, upgrade actions consume items from the player's shared inventory. Okay, so here we go. Um, increases population capacity and speeds up goods consumption by 10%. This can be a good thing or a bad thing. If you don't have enough production, you are going to suffer just slightly. So let's go ahead and upgrade this house. Limit is 10. What's it going to give us now? 14. So it added two more citizen capacity. All right. Good, good, good. And now you'll see they also consume general goods, which are materials, clothing, tools, and gadgets. So we are having these uh, planks stored at the base. We could have somebody delivering from the base to that house and giving them planks, but I feel like they're too valuable of a building material to do that right now. So we're gonna focus on making something like clothing or tools or, or gadgets. I've never even heard of the tools and the gadgets before. That's that's totally new uh, since I played it last. So this, uh, this is gonna be great. I, I'm really keen on exploring this whole thing. This is great. And looks like the base is ready to level up. Okay, your base can be upgraded to increase the house limit as well as your storage capacity. Select the base and hit the upgrade button. Okay, so what are we gonna get here? Um, okay, this thing increases maximum number of houses as well as local storage capacity, all right. So we have all the things that are required. Let's click the button. All right, house max increased by four. So that means we can have more houses, more grain deliveries, um, and people being happy all the time. <laughs> okay, so we did this. Great. All right, markets can be loaded with items that nearby houses will automatically buy from them. It's much more efficient and convenient than delivering goods to individual houses. Yes, we have five workers spending time just delivering to these houses so we want to build a market first thing so open the build menu select buildings and select food market so let's do that buildings aha lumber mill we got grain mill we have we don't have there's a workshop as well assembles a wide variety of useful items crate provides small storage space to store items does not auto output contents to shoots wow there's stuff going on here general store apothecary specialty goods school stonemason pasture forester oh my goodness all the things are here isn't this wonderful there's so many cool things yeah i learned about some of the magic stuff just reading the tool tips and stuff at the beginning or not the tool tips but the um sort of gameplay tips in the beginning of the game they really are kind of cool. So, all right, let's go ahead and make this food market. Distributes and sells food items automatically to near. Oh, auto <laughs> I just say automatically. I thought it said automatically. Anyway, let's go ahead and build this. This is a huge radius for this thing. Um, let's see. Let's rotate this. I feel like maybe we should just build it around here somewhere. Maybe that's a good place because this is the, op the the most wide open space for houses to be. So I'm thinking that would be good, or should we build it? Well, we shouldn't build it over the grain. That doesn't even make sense. Um, let's see. Let's just plan out our roads. We're gonna go sort of Roman roads at the moment, uh, meaning just like straight and square. Okay, let's uh, escape B. Um, decor. Aha. Oh, we got flowers. How nice. I wonder if they care about these things. Do they? There are no, um, th uh, yeah, there's no descriptions, but we could put flowers here. Oh, well, that's quite lovely, isn't it? Aw, that's nice. I don't think we'll have anything coming in the front of this, so I'm, oh, no, 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 don't, don't delete the road. No, no. Okay, there they are. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that pretty? I like it. Okay, next thing. Let's get the market going on here. Buildings, market. Okay, so we can put this here. Let's go ahead and just put it here. And then we can build our houses around there. So let's find our people. Let's go ahead and pause. And we want to just look at who is going where. We want you to take this grain to here, please. You also take grain to here you 
I want you to take the apples over to the here. Okay, and who else? So are there are there any other people? Yes, there's someone here. There's a person. No? Hello? You. Aha. You take apples from there to the market, please. So hopefully that means we can sell more apples to people. Let's go ahead and pause again and just see, are there any other people? There's somebody here. Okay, you take... I think two people with grain being that close to the market is plenty. So you're going to go for the apple trees. There you go. Okay. And I don't think we even need that many people, but that's okay. We can, we can organize it later. Um, all right. So we have done this. Thank you. And see how they automatically get food from the market. Wow. They have inventory now. Little bit, little bit, little tiny bits. Uh, we are earning lots of wood and planks with these other, the, the toils and labors of these folks over here. Nice, nice. Okay, build a grain mill. Grain mills turn grain into flour, which can be sold for a higher price and is an ingredient in other goods. So do these guys want grain? Do they care? Let's see. Provided by grains, meats, fruits, and vegetables. Okay, we could upgrade the houses though. I don't know how happy they would be. I'm not quite sure. Production time. All right. Let's go ahead and do that, though, uh, because usually the foods provide better value as well. So I want to build a grain mill. Can we build a farm yet? I don't think so. Not yet. No. Okay. So this is kind of an interesting way of unlocking things. Um... Can we build the bakery yet? I don't think so. Okay, let's just do the grain mill then. There we go. And we need to make sure we have one person uh, automatically working there. Um, can I? I wonder if I can just output this to the... Well, let's, let's put the entrance on the back side because we probably... Or we could just put it here. And hopefully we'll get some other buildings soon that can use this, like a bakery, perhaps. So you guys, hold on. You take grain to there, please. You also take grain to there. Uh, all right. So we need to have a recipe of flour. We're not going to do animal feed yet. Oh, that's nice. You can check mark this box as well. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so we have this going, but we have to remember now there's no grain getting to these houses or no, yeah, regular grain getting to the houses. Okay, now you can produce flour and sell it at the market for a lot of coins. Select the grain mill and select the flour recipe, which we've already done. Bring enough grain to the grain mill to produce flour and then bring the flour to the food market to sell it. Can we build wagons yet? No, nope, not yet. We can build chutes, but I'm pretty sure you can't take grain on a chute. Structural blocks. We got these guys. Decor. Wood bench. Okay. So we're going to have to build more workers. Let's take one worker. And I want you to take the flower here, please. So this guy needs... Okay, there's the flower. It needs three grain to produce one flower. This one is, wow, that's really a good price. So grains sell for one. This is fabulous. Look at the UI on this. Tells us one coin to sell grain, five coins to sell flour. This is nice. So you can actually see the profits of how this is working. And I believe that further processed foods also, I think they last longer. Is that right? I'm not quite sure if it is or not, but I think that that's the case. Um, they might last longer. Oh, there we go. Besides earning more coins, higher tier goods will also maintain happiness for longer. Well, there we are. <laughs> I'm like, yes, we should read the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, build a workshop. The workshop lets you uh, craft wood wheels, conveyor belts, conveyor belts, so dear, and many other useful and valuable items to help automate your town. Okay, let's go and build this uh, workshop here. Let's see, we have... Um, Let's go and do that. Build, build, build. Buildings. Workshop. 
Good. Um, we're going to put this nearby this stuff. I am not sure what we want to do with this. Let's just put it here. Okay. Oh, we got fence, half stairs, and a wagon. Yay! Can quickly carry multiple items between buildings, especially on roads, but cannot harvest natural resources. Okay, we can... Oh, half stairs allows workers to climb up one level. Okay, and then we have a fence. Ah, wood fence that blocks navigation. That could be useful to keep our little guys where we want them to go. Now then, we want to select a recipe here. Wow, they can build a lot of stuff. Holy fuzzy cats. Whoa. Here's some tools. They can build shoes as well. Leather produced by pasture. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Cloth and leather to make a cloak. We can have a shirt made with a cloth. Wow. So we can have tons of these workshops chained together and doing stuff. Holy fuzzy cats. Nice. So you can make, oh, you can do cotton and wool. Made One by made by the pasture, one made by a farm. Okay, well, let's start with the wood wheels. Because um, that's the only thing we can make, I think. So we need some planks for this. And then we need, um, yeah, people making wheels. So we need two workers for this, I think. Uh, I don't know how many... Yeah, they, they're pretty simple w when it comes to the stuff, I have to say. These guys, but we can also make more. So let's go and grab the planks, take them to the workshop, and then you take the wheels back. They're, they're pretty simple-minded. Apparently this guy is not allowed to take wheels back. But at some point we're going to automate all of this stuff with conveyor belts and other things. And we're going to be able to... Um, these guys can sit pretty at home or they can basically work in the workshops to increase the speed of the buildings and stuff like that. This is just very, very early in the game where we don't have automation yet. So, um, oh, barns. Okay. We have barns next. I wanted to build a couple more houses though, because that would be a good thing so that we have more people. There we go. Or space for more people. Um, and then, well, yeah, we can sell more goods as well. Okay, build a barn. Barns are special shared storage space. St oh goodness, special shared storage structures. Any item you place there is usable when placing a new building or purchasing an upgrade. Open up the build menu, select buildings, and make a barn. Okay, this is great. Oh, and we have our workers. See now, workers, workers are good. Um, those. The wagon can carry multiple things. So it requires one person of population to drive the wagon, presumably, uh, so they don't have to walk, but they can carry stuff. Now, the problem is that they can't harvest stuff, so we can't get them to take like the apples from the tree, for example. Um, but they can take from building to building, which is kind of nice. Now, at the moment, we don't really have a use for this because there's no like high volume of stuff. I believe wagons can carry four items, or at least they used to be able to. Maybe they carry more now. I don't know. Um, so we'll we'll keep our, our eye on that uh, until... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one thing that we can do is have... Um, well, we could put a conveyor belt going this way into a barn, actually, if we wanted to. Let's go under buildings. Let's get our barn. There we go. Oh, and we don't have enough um, stuff. Oh, yes. This thing is eating all of this, the stuff. So we need to wait. This guy, we're going to stop the production here. So let's just take you there. Actually, go ahead and drop that off. In. There you go. And you, oh, no, 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 go back. I didn't tell you to resume your duties. Forget it. Sit. Okay. <laughs> and this guy will wait for wheels, I guess. You know what? We'll just leave him on the side there because, um, okay, so they only have one input of a plank, but I want to have more of these guys because we can't build the barn otherwise. Um, this, these items are close enough to here to not worry about the barn, uh, to be honest. 
oh wow, these people are really happy. Look at this. Are they all getting stuff? Some grain stuff. I wonder if that includes flour. Oh yes, grain flour bread sandwiches. Okay, nice. So all of that applies, which is really neat. Um, anyway, barn. Uh, did we need 10 for that? Barn, barn, barn. Yes, 10. We need 10 planks. They look like, the funny thing about this icon, I have to say, it looks like sort of crispy bacon. <laughs> Like slightly burned bacon. Um, so anyway, it's just funny. It just reminds me. But you know what? There is not nothing wrong with bacon. We like bacon a lot. So that's not even a concern that we have. It's fine. Okay, come on, come on. Barn, barn, let's go. I don't really need a barn here. Um, do I need a barn elsewhere? I could build a barn over here, maybe, for other products that we might need. Or I could just tear it down and move it, because that's also a valid thing. I could put one over here and have people gather coal for it, maybe. Mm, I'll just put it here for now. Okay, good. Okay, wagons can move four items at a time, but they cannot harvest items. They also move much faster on roads or on stone roads. Produce food, food for wheels, four wood wheels at your workshop. Bring the wood wheels to your base or barn so they're in your shared inventory. So we have 13. Okay, and then we can build a wagon. Not that we have much to do with the wagon at the moment, but we'll build one because it's saying to build one. And we need 10 more lumber. So maybe I'm going to have these guys um, collect more trees. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should get another, another thingy-majingy here. Let's see. Now the shoots, as you can see, they are good for natural resources primarily, like these guys are spherical, so those roll on shoots, but usually the more processed items are not going to work on shoots in this version of the game. So, all right, this is going to be good. We're getting more stuff here. Yep, it's quite slow, um, but we don't, I was looking, do we need the wagon for this particular journey, but we don't. All right, let's go ahead and build our wagon. Workers wagon. Here we go. Just put one there. Yay. All right. Build a stonemason. Okay. The stonemason will turn stone into stone bricks that can be used for advanced buildings and roads, which allows wagons to travel much faster. Okay. So do we want to find another stone patch? There's one over here that's quite big, and I'm very tempted to use this stone patch instead of that one. This may be just a good building patch. But I think having one here would be ideal. And I think we want to do like a, uh, a barn here as well. So let's go ahead and build a number of buildings here. Start off with getting our stonemason. Um, like this, I think. I'm not sure about the bricks, whether they can actually... I think they have to, yeah, I think they have to go on a road. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here's the stone roads, road ramps. we got stone bridges, all the things, and a stone bench for people to sit on. Yay, yay. Let's go ahead and build our barn as well. Hello. Oh, we got a well. How nice. Here's the barn, which we need more wood for. Now then, we do need workers. So let's go ahead and add one or two, perhaps. Good. Nice, nice. Okay, you guys are going to make stone bricks, please. There you go. All right, good. And we have 12 bits there. Buildings, let's build a barn. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this around. And we can build our road from here to there. Just go in front of the whole thing. Actually, let's make it wide, wide enough. And then we'll get our wagon to deliver stuff from here to there. That way we can see the wagon in action. Let's see, does it, yeah, it does hold four materials. It said so. Okay, there we go. And it picked up four things and it's dropping off four things. Great. 
And we really don't need a wagon for this. I think we can use just a regular worker. Uh, but we need to upgrade some of our houses first. Let's see. Oh, now look at these. These require stone bricks to upgrade now. Let's just take these others up. There we go. Uh, first level kind of stuff here. And then we'll get another regular worker, I think, here. And get the wagon to be not wasted here. Because it's really a low, low quantity of items there. Okay, so wagon, you just rest there for a bit. Okay, and let's see. We got that. Perfect. Upgrade the base again. Okay, your base can be upgraded further to increase the house limit. Uh, base upgrades will often unlock new research recipes as well. Okay, that sounds good. Select the base and we can upgrade. We need 10 wheels and 20 bricks. Okay, so we need to get the wheels going again. I guess we can probably get another worker. We need two. Okay, so you grab these guys and take them to the workshop. And then we can have another guy taking the wheels to the to the base this barn I don't think we actually need anything but this is very handy to have the stone in here this is great Ooh, empty can we oh you can choose what you want to put into the storage and not allow other things like you could just choose Omni stone and I think it wouldn't block that like if we did this let's try this and see if it works It'll take a while to fill up that thing, but potentially you could just like limit it to one stack. Okay. Yeah. Item filter. It's already taken. Okay. That's good. I want to see if that blocks it from other stuff, but that's a nice thing. I have to say, okay, let's go and get our base upgraded. We got everything. Good. Good house max increased by four. Yay. Boom. So now we can have 12 houses. We only have six. Uh, all right. Build a general store. Okay. A general store can automatically sell planks, stone bricks, and other utility items to nearby houses, just like the food market can sell food related items. Okay. Let's go ahead and build this. This is a new thing. At least when I played that there was one market and it sold everything. So we'll put this right here. Do I want to have it that close? Yeah, let's have it that close. We could have like a little minecart line behind them, perhaps, to deliver stuff. Yeah. Is that right? No, that is not right. Go away. Um, delete. There we go. I hope I got the materials back. I think I did. Buildings, general store. Yes, I, I think I did, maybe. There we go. Better. Oh, nice. It shows all the stuff. Is this upgraded? No. Oh, we want to have the first upgrade at least for all the houses. Okay. Here's the general store. They sell all kinds of stuff. Uh, if we ever get a plethora of items, we will put it in there. But at the moment, we don't have that. Is this being... Oh, we must have used it to build the store there. Okay, select any market to see which specific items it can accept. Select any house to see what kind of items it currently needs. So they do need some kind of general goods here. Materials, clothing, tools, gadgets. I think we'll build something specifically for the houses for that. All right, earn red coins. Different types of goods earn different currencies. Uh, which you will need for research and specialized buildings. This is very new. I haven't seen the different kind of coins before. This this looks really cool. Uh, click the economy tab in the bottom toolbar to see the currency value of all sellable goods. Okay, let's find that. Economy, here we go. Nice. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Deliver a stone brick to the general goods store or sell any other red coin producing item. Okay. Cooked beef, fish stew, berries, stuff, 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 jam and fruit juice, cheese and butter. Stone brick is worth one red coin. Huh. This is quite interesting. And a shirt is worth 10 red coins, whereas wool is two. 
cloth is four. So you can see how much stuff is worth. This is great. Wow, eight for a wooden wheel. Medical supplies are really expensive. That's quite cool. I'm really curious to see what those uh, coins are used for. Like they said, research and something else. What else? Specialized buildings, right? Okay, so you need them to buy different buildings. I guess we can have somebody delivering a few bricks over there. Okay, we'll take the wagon and go from here, which is the storage, to the general store. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Let's deliver some of these bricks. Okay, there they go. I probably won't deliver that many because to be honest, we need them probably for building the stone bricks because I would really like to have um, bricked roads whoa there we go four red coins immediately holy fuzzy cats but this thing i don't think it has made enough stone yet it takes four pieces of stone to make into one stone brick so i think we're gonna stop that very soon okay let's just have it deliver one more time and then pull off to the side of the road your your time wagon is done Wow, nice, there we go. And this increases their happiness, of course, and they're all really excited. But anyway, I think this is probably a good stopping point for today. We have discovered so many new things and I'm really excited to see where we can go. I'm trying, I know this how town looks very strange, but I'm trying to leave space because I know that there are cool things coming on like different transport systems. There are trains, there are mine carts. And so I'm putting some space between the different buildings um, so that we can, maybe not have to move so many things when we get there. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.